It's Juvenis. Honorable colleagues, the sixth order of the day is a motion on the call to end incessant uh, dehumanization and harassment of road travelers by security agents in Southeast, standing in the name of Honorable Attorney Matthew Ngogu. Honorable Ngogu is thereby invited to move the motion. Honorable Ngogu. My name remains Attorney Matthew Ngogu. I represent the good people of Abombise Ngopala Federal Constituency. I am from Imo State. Mr. Speaker, I rise this afternoon to raise a motion on a call to end the instant dehumanization, harassment of road transport, road travelers by security agents in Southeast. The House knows the reports and growing instances of dehumanization, harassment and extortion of citizens in the Southeast geopolitical zone by security agents estimated to be in billions of Naira. The house is disturbed by the instant and continued dehumanization and harassment of road travelers in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone of Nigeria by security agents, especially by some police officers and army personnel who have perfected the acts of extorting money forcefully from road travelers embarking on daily journey to earn their living. The House is worried that the weapons given to the security agents to, to protect lives and property are now being used by some unscrupulous security agents to harass and dehumanize the law-abiding travelers within the Southeast Zone the House is alarmed at the brazen manner in which travelers within the zone are forcefully moved out from their traveling cars and vehicles by security agents and are ordered to walk some kilometers with their hands raised above their heads, thus dehumanizing and portraying them as common criminals or prisoners creating a feeling of discontentment, social unrest, and creating the feeling of a conquered territory. The House is aware that a vast majority of the security personnel diligently, professionally perform their duties. There have been regrettable cases of misconduct, abuse of power, and extortion perpetrated by a few individuals within these agencies, especially at Friday House on July 8, 2023, some unscrupulous police officers were led and detained some travelers engaged in legitimate business along Owere Onisha Express Road and forcefully collected a sum of 500,000 Naira from the travelers. The House is concerned at the inability of some security personnel entrusted with the protection of lives and property to conduct, this, to conduct themselves professionally in carrying out checks on road travelers, except to, except to subject and subjugate them to inhuman treatment, thus causing disenchantment between the citizenry and the security agents. This has further worsened the needed collaborative effort needed to checkmate crime and criminality within the Southeast Ge Geopolitical Zone. The House is worried that regularly travelers with Southeast are forced to open their phones and laptops and in some cases are forced to part with their hard-earned money and their belongings. And the House recognizes the urgent need to address the, these acts of dehumanization 
harassment and extortion of road travelers within the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, and to restore public confidence of citizens in the, sec in the security, with the security agents. The House therefore resolves urge the Inspector, Inspector General of Police to identify discipline and call to order the police officers perpetrating these inhumane and degrading treatments on road travelers along the Southeast Geopolitical Zone to desist from such unprofessional conduct and to carry out their duties professionally. The House also resolved to urge the Chief of Army staff to call on the military personnel manning roadblocks within the Southeast Geopolitical Zone to carry out their duties professionally and stop the instant harassment of law abiding citizens, citizenry in the Southeast. And finally, the House resolved to set up an ad hoc committee to invest the first full collection of 500,000 naira by some police officers on this July 20. July 8, 2023, from travelers along the way on Isha Road, using money point POS belonging to one divine. Mr. Speaker, I move. So I move. Any second? Honorable Ari. Can you press it, please? Hmm? Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, respected colleagues. Ari Mohammed Abdul Mumin, my name. I rise to second the motion every moved by a colleague. I so second, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you. Amendment? Orobu, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Bamidele Salam. I represent the fantastic rule of the North and the South, Egbedore, and Ejibo Federal Constituency of Ocean State. Mr. Speaker, I, I want to move for an amendment to prayer three of this very, very important uh, motion. Mr. Speaker, riding on the intent of your speech today, on the need for us to empower our standing committees to be more active, I want to move, Mr. Speaker, that the third prayer of this motion be amended to read that the House resolves to refer the matter to the Committee on Police Affairs and the Committee on Human Rights. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Marat Orobu. Even without you moving, we already resolved that all motions that um, propose other committees uh, would uh, for now be uh, denied it will be the standing committees so it is noted it's already taken care of we don't need to put it to vote okay uh, i will use my discretion to recommend that uh, the other committee should be changed to standing committee of the house thank you Uh, those in support of uh, this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. So, um, uh, this motion is referred to the following committees National Security and Intelligence, Committee on Army, Committee on Police Affairs, Committee on uh, Human Rights, with the National Security being the lead committee. Thank you.
The seventh order of the day is a motion on the need to complete the show protection project at Ibeno local government area and other NDDC projects abandoned, abandoned in Iket, Ona, Esit, Iket, Ibiono, Federal constituency, standing in the name of Honorable Opolopon Ete. Honorable Ete is uh, hereby uh, invited to move the motion. Honorable uh, Ete, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My dear colleagues, my name is Honorable Okolu Pumete. I represent the good people of AK, Una, SDK, and even a federal constituency. I come from a five home state. Mr. Speaker, dear colleagues, I want to move a motion on the need to complete the short protection project at Ibano local government area and other, and other Niger Delta Development Commission projects abandoned in Ekate, Una, Isrekate, and even a federal constituency. Orobulete, because of uh, time limitation and the straightforwardness of your motion, I will advise that you read the main title and then go to the prayer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Respectfully, I would like to move to the prayers. The House resolved to urge, one, urge Niger Delta Development Commission to assess the level of work executed by Smith Engineering Company Limited from 2006 to date and to carry out the same assessment in all abandoned projects across the federal constituency. Two, also urge the Niger Delta Development Commission to either compel the company which was given the contract to immediately return to the site or take necessary action to recover the mobilization paid to the contractor and the contract re-awarded to another competent contractor. Three, mandate the Committee on the Niger Delta Development Commission to demand a comprehensive list of abandoned projects across the Order, federal constituency and ensure thorough investigation as to why most of the projects across the federal constituency are abandoned. And finally, also mandate the Committee on Niger Delta Development Commission to ensure the project is completed and report back within four weeks for further legislative action. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any seconder? Honorable Ruru? The only to Raiki in the National Assembly. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The only year that we have in the nation, I remain right honorable Kabir al Asar room. I represent the Honorable Kabir Federal Constituency. I rise to second the motion, every move by Honorable Ete. I so second, Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleague, this is an infrastructure related motion, so we'll just put the question. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those again should say nay. The ayes have it. This uh, motion is referred to which uh, committees? Hmm? Is referred to the committee on Niger Delta. Thank you. The eighth order of the day is a motion on the need to rehabilitate the Benin Wari Expressway. Standing in the name of Honorable Francis Waebe. Honorable Waebe is here by invited to move this motion. Thank you very much, uh, Right Honorable Speaker. Honorable Francis A. Girogene Waebe is my name. And I represent the entire people of Ugele North, Ugele South, and Udu. I am from Delta State. Uh, Honorable Wai, you know the new rules we set until uh, the adjournment. We go, we read the title and go to the prayers. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Oh, okay, thank you. The title is the need to rehabilitate the Wari Bini Expressway. 
and my prayers are one to urge the federal roads maintenance agency to expeditiously carry out maintenance on the field portions of the road two mandate the committee on works and public accounts to conduct a thorough investigation into the activities of FEMA on the utilization of the COVID-19 allocation for the rehabilitation of that road, and also to mandate the Committee on Niger Delta Development Commission to conduct a thorough investigation into their own budgetary allocation for the rehabilitation of this road. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Colleague. Any second? Honorable Ajilo. Use your mic. Use your mic. Come on. It's working. <laughs> Thank you, my dear speaker, Ian Zazo. My name is Honorable Umar Ajilo. I'm a member representing a very good people of Makarifikota Federal Constituency. I am from Kaduna State. I'm here to second the motions heavily moved by my dear colleagues. I so second, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Again, this is an infrastructure related motion, so we put the question. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. So this uh, motion is uh, referred to committees on works, public accounts, and Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Oh, you're done already. I'm sure you liked it. Please leave your comments, like, and share this video. More importantly, more importantly, please click on the thanks button so that you can support Jovenis TV to enable us to create more content like you. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. It's just, it's unique, it's versatile, it envisions, it's newsy, it inspires, it suits, it's juvenis. A dual glossy magazine with educative and entertaining columns that report contemporary issues, events, tells about individuals who can inspire positively, showcases latest trends in fashion, circulates all around Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, London, and USA. Juvenis is published bi-monthly by Peanuts Communications Limited. For inquiries, event coverage, or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271. 0805-787-1199 Juvenis Magazine Inspiring the young at heart